Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this gyroscope assembly in Fusion 360. So hope you guys will enjoy your video. Let's get started. So for start, we will start as you guys can see it, it comprises of one, two, three, four, and the one is outer ring. That's five. So we are going to make this five ring and then we are going to assemble them together to form this beautiful assembly in Fusion 360. The number of rings is as per desire. You can increase or decrease. So I'm going to make this model with total number of four rings inside and the outer cage that uh, makes it a five ring uh, assembly. So switch back to switch to new workspace. What we are going to do is we are going to create five spheres each for one body. So we will go to sphere click any plane you want because we are going to make the uh, spare from the origin and origin for all three planes it remains same so from the origin make the dia 110 and the operation would be new component don't forget to press shift and end to toggle the color assembly it will automatically assign colors to each component then again go to create go to spear select you can just hide this select this point and this this time the dia would be 100 mm and press ok oh i forget to uh, uh, select the create as new component body so we are going to make this as create as new component so we have two spares one of dia 110 and another of 100 mm again we were going to repeat the same step go to create go to spear select this point and this point and this time the dia would be 90 and it will be new component now we are again going to repeat the same step this time the dia would be uh, the diameter would be 80 we are going we are keep on decreasing the dia by 10 mm each time and this is for our fourth ring and finally again go to spear just hide it for now click on origin and this time the dia would be 70 and it's of new component and press ok now we have 1 2 3 4 5 components let me just show them all now what we are going to do is we are going to create a sketch on top plane so click on the top plane and draw L for line or you can just click on rectangle and you may select center rectangle and from the very origin draw a rectangle like this press d for dimension and give the height of this rectangle as 8 mm and press uh, enter and let me just hide this for now and just increase the length of this rectangle like this so now again click on two point rectangle and like this and just you may finish the sketch now what I'm going to do I'm going to select the extrude select this outer body and we are going to extrude cut it from entire body so the objects to be cut will be selected as the entire bodies so select the diameter as symmetric and press ok now once it's done you, you can see that uh, here is the first here is the second here is the third here is the fourth and here is the fifth now just switch uh, turn turn them turn all of them uh, off so we will start by making the first component so what we are going to do is we are going to create a shell so go to modify create the shell select this face and this face and the inside thickness would be 2 mm and press enter now bring on the second sketch repeat the same process for this one also and the inside thickness would be 2 mm uh, this is the shortest method that we can create a ring so press 2 and repeat the same for this also ok let me just select this face also now for the last string select this face and this face and press 2 for inner circle thickness and press enter now the yellow one is going to be our the ring for our outer profile and the four in the inner would be used for rotating like here 
one two three four so so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to make a plane on the very front plane sketch on a front plane like this for now just hide the other profile we are going to work on the outer frame cage so the biggest ring so now what we are going to do is I'm going to create R for rectangle and draw a rectangle like this and from origin draw a vertical line like this and press T for dimension and from this point to this point give it dimension of 10 mm and press enter finish the sketch create extrude and just we are going to extrude cut this profile like this now you may bring back all the sketch that you have created now what we are going to do is we are going to extrude this this profile as well as the bottom view up to a distance of 15 mm and the process would be join and press ok now once done now we are going to make the hole and the these small small pins so that we can use them to assemble uh, with the other rings so remember one thing that each of the ring consists of two holes on opposite direction and two pins on the opposite direction so each of the ring will have four component two holes and two pins so for that what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to uh, make the hole on the each of the ring and then we are going to make the pin for the next step so for that just switch on to the uh, front plane and from origin at the origin press C for circle you may just slice it and from center press C for center and from C for circle and from very origin draw a circle of dia 4 and you may finish the sketch now once done I'm going to select the extrude command the direction would be symmetric and I'm going to uh, cut a hole through all of the rings here and now press OK. Now once done, now each of the ring has two holes on their opposite sides. Now I'm going to put a pin onto these, this and this area of the ring. So for that, the shortest method that I have created is again click on the front plane like this and click on go to slice. So here you can you can see the outer portion of each of the ring. yeah so here you guys can see the outer portion of each of the ring that's one two three and four uh, we will not talk about the we will talk about this ring later on the outer cage so you may just hide it for now so we are going to create a pin on these of the four ring so for that just again click on look at to make your sketch normal too and what I'm going to do I'm going to press L for line and right in the center I am going to make a line from this point which will going to be our pin so I will start creating the pin for this the inner the blue ring uh, and it will start from the solid part of the ring and will go right up to a up to uh, some middle portion of this uh, uh, the next string the next biggest string is the orange one suppose that like here and just press uh, okay now again from sec for the second pin for the orange ring repeat the same step from here to the outer ring like here and press ok now for the green ring similar step like this and from now for the blue ring again similar step like uh, you may imagine this and press ok uh, the size of the pin doesn't matter you guys can increase the size of the pin easily by extruding them so we don't have to concern about the ring and the size of the pin right now so we will start by making the pin for the smaller ring first so for that go to create and click on pipe 
now just select the first very first line that you have drawn and the operation would be join and the section side would be the similar as the, the hole we have created that's of 4 and press enter now I'm going to make it symmetric so go to mirror command the object would be select the pattern as features and object would be the pipe we have just created and the mirror plane would be the center uh, x y uh, y z plane and press ok so here it is now again switch on the last sketch we have drawn and switch back the ring and move towards the outer ring again select on the pipe command select the second line you have drawn press ok repeat the same step select the feature as this pipe the mirror plane would be y z plane and press ok now again go towards the outer ring repeat the same step clear, click on the third line that you have created and mirror it like this and the mirror plane would be again the yz plane and just hide it also and now for the outer one again click on pipe command and select this you may increase this uh, if you want to so anytime and press ok now again go to mirror click on this pipe the mirror plane would be this and press ok once you're all completed what I'm going to do I'm going to switch back them on now what I'm going to do is just hide the sketch for now now the only thing left is to make the base of the outer ring so we will do that in later part of the video so for now before starting the assembly as you guys can see there are individual components so you guys can easily move them across the uh, portion so for now just revert back the position so we will start by yellow one so this is going to be our frame so this needs to be grounded because we don't want it to be moving so press on grounded now i am not able to move it across anywhere in the plane so we will start by assembling the biggest ring first so for that just capture the position we will start by this these these two point assembling on these holes so for that let me just increase the length of these pipe a little, little bit i think it's smaller so i'm going to extrude this and this the up to a distance of let's say 3 mm okay I have done something nah, yeah yeah okay so let's repeat this step for this pin also increases join and 3 mm so we have increased the length of these two pins 3 mm now again go to our assembly and select joint or you guys can also press J for joint so I am going to snap the middle point of this pin so for that just put Put your cursor on the face of this and to snap the middle point press ctrl and you will be able to select this the middle point of this pin and press ok then similar step for here press ctrl and select the middle point of it like this so now as you guys can see we need to flip this so here's the flip option like this uh, if you just go to front view you you have the option to move this across up and down so you may uh, uh, put this on a very accurate position so the motion type would be revolute like this and you may press ok now once done now I am able to rotate this ring across this yellow frame so just revert back the position now I, the second the sh now the second ring that comes after that would be this green ring so similarly repeat the step press J for joint press so continue and we will snap the middle point of this pin and the middle point of the hole here here it is yeah perfect now if I just go to front view that yeah, you guys can see that it's not actually in the middle so I'm just going to drag it down uh, across the Z direction I think minus 3 would be good no minus two no let's say minus one 
yeah minus one seems to be perfect as I, I uh, as you guys can see i have assumed all the dimension so if you guys uh, want to assemble it more accurately you guys can measure the distance so i am not going to waste the time i'm just showing you the method and press ok now uh, we have two assemblies the green and the blue ring right now so you may just revert back the position now the next turn is of the blue ring orange ring so repeat the same step press j for joint and press ctrl and snap the middle point and i'm going to join this to this hole right here on the middle section and switch back to front view again and we need to flip the direction and it's not in the middle so i'm going to uh, put it downwards by 1 mm and press ok now for the last string press J for joint and snap the center point and here also go to front plane we need to flip this as you guys can see we need you also need to shift this so I think minus 1 would work yeah and minus 1 seems to be ok and press ok now all the things have done now you may just select switch off the sketches now you guys can see I, if I rotate this and we have several assemblies but it, it will it still not move like a gyroscope cause we need to uh, give it relation between the joints so that it can move actually like a gyroscope so for that just revert back the position for now what we need to do is we need to uh one thing left is to uh, give the fillets a uh, little bit fillets here so i think you guys can do that it, that, that that thing is the easiest part of the video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh move the joints i am going to assign some motion between these all these four revolution joints so that it uh, our assembly may uh, works like a gyroscope so revert back the position for now go to assemble click on motion link then it will ask you about the joints you want to be linked so i'm going to link the revolute 1 joint with the revolute 2 then it is asking that for how many rotation in angle of rotates the revolute 1 the revolute 2 should react so what i am it's is currently it's 360 degree and 360 degree so I am going to just press OK. Then I am going to again go to assemble, click on motion link. Then I am going to link the more joint 2 with the joint 3 and just press OK. Again repeat the same step with the joint 3 and the joint 4 and press OK. Now all the link, the we have linked the joint 1 with the joint 2, the joint 2 with the joint 3 and similarly joint 3 with the joint 4. Now if I just try to move. The, the outer ring you guys can see the the all the ring will rotate accordingly as we have given them a linked motion between them so this is how the actual gyroscope when in working condition will look like so the next step is to make the bottom frame so that's that that is actually not the trickiest part of the video so i think you guys can easily do that it's simply a revolute I have drawn a sketch and then re uh, revolved it to using the command here. So I think you guys can see, uh, you guys can make that easily. So hope you guys will enjoy the video. Please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos. Do share and subscribe my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.